Nearly a hundred light bombers were detailed for one special objective in a 600 plane daylight raid over enemy occupied Europe. The bombers chosen were the newest and fastest, the famous Bostons, new American built Venturas, the RAF Wonder Plane, the Mosquito. 60 miles inside the Dutch coast was the largest radio factory in Europe, working for Germany. This is it. The huge Philips radio valve works at Eindhoven, which you will recognize later as you fly up to it. 15,000 employees were engaged in this factory. No need to emphasize the vital importance of radio to the German war effort. But now those 100 bombers and their crews are going out to deal one more heavy blow at Hitler's fading hopes of victory. Each man in each crew knows exactly what he's got to do. Mosquitoes airborne. Venturas airborne. Crossing the coast, they're setting a cracking pace, heading for Holland. Now we're up with the leading Bostons over the North Sea. Dutch coast. which takes you on this dramatic dash is in the second Boston. Weaving ahead towards the target is the Boston piloted by the squadron's commander. He'll be first over the target. That's it. That's the Phillips works ahead. German anti-aircraft gunners are opening fire. The bombers machine gun back at them. Our two leading Bostons have gone right over and dropped their bombs. Following the Boston's Venturas and Mosquitoes come in higher. In this dramatic scene, the film has got damaged, but it gives a wonderful pilot's eye view of the great scene of destruction. Bomb load after bomb load went right down on the bull. Not a shadow of doubt that radio factory got a terrific pasting. All this shattering devastation took place in four minutes. Now the journey home, though not all of them came back. Twelve of our aircraft were lost, but that great factory went completely off the market. So they returned to base, and you can see the hail of gunfire they went through to get their target. 
This was that leading Boston. The Ventura was hit so badly you can scarcely believe the evidence that it did get home. But look at these still photographs, taken by a cameraman in another of the raiding aircraft. Four minutes of concentrated bombardment did this. And this. But notice that the houses in the foreground are untouched. This long shot with the name of Phillips in the front. And this. On returning from the raid, one observer said, it was the most magnificent bombing he'd ever seen. And we say we always knew we had the most magnificent air force.